Some good news for those fighting to expose police brutality. The Third Circuit Court of Appeals ruled in Fields versus Philadelphia a case that it's a citizen's First Amendment right to be able to record police officers. The ruling cited George Holliday's filming of Rodney King's brutal beating by LAPD officers, which was a rare event then, but it's very commonplace now. Then they added the First Amendment protects actual photos, videos, and recordings, and for this protection to have meaning, the amendment must also protect the act of creating that material. There is no practical difference between allowing police to prevent people from taking recordings and actually banning the possession or distribution of them. Uh, this case came uh, about when Richard Fields, a resident of Pennsylvania, began recording a group of about 20 police officers breaking up a house party. The officers arrested Fields for refusing to leave the sidewalk, and then a judge in the state defended the officers, saying Fields wasn't protected by the First Amendment in a ridiculous decision by that judge. That decision is now overruled, and rightfully so, as no person or no entity in America is ever above the law from exposure of possible wrongdoing, even when a federal or a state court judge says that it's, it's acceptable.